need to order one. We are back in the workshop and back onto this, the third Phoenix. Doesn't have a specific uh, individual name yet. It may get one, it may not. Everything is now glued in place. I've taken off the clamps, obviously. We've, uh, we've got the side pieces glued in, the top and the back bent into shape and a nice big hollow that runs all the way through. I haven't carved the neck yet, obviously, but it's incredibly light. So this guitar is going to weigh very little, which is going to be quite nice. What I need to do next on this is trim up the body and get rid of these bits of wenge in here, um, around the horns, sand it all down to final shape, and generally just tidy it up and get it properly guitar shaped. So I think rather than nattering on for a while, I'm just going to go straight to the bandsaw. of sanding. I've now got a nice smooth edge to the body. What I want to do with this is kind of sort out this big square face here. To do that I think I'm going to put a bevel on the edge of the body all the way around. So I'm going to mark out a set distance all the way around. Because I've got a radius top and back I can't just use a router to do that because it won't ride straight and obviously I have nothing under here for the bearing to follow. So I'm going to have to do it by hand which to be honest on this shape is going to be better because it's going to be slightly more organic. The line that I draw I will follow for the majority of the body but there will be places for instance in the cutaways here where I can take the bevel a little bit deeper into the body and it'll just emphasize the shape of the guitar a little bit more. But I need my dividers. There we go. So now we just clamp it down and grab a file. Or a rasp, or a spoke shave. Whatever works. Or all of the above. I really need to oil that. Yeah, all right. How are you, Anthony? Not bad, how are you? Have you seen you for yonks? <laughs> Thank you.
been merrily beveling away for a little while here. I've got the top pretty much where I want it. There's a tiny bit of unevenness around the outside edge, which I just need to sand out smooth. The back, I've roughly got to shape, but I haven't taken that down to match the sides yet. And obviously I haven't done in this area because I need to take away as much of this heel as possible to have a nice smooth bevel transition, which I think is going to go straight from the top into the neck and just be straight way the way around. A really nice kind of smooth transition in. Um, but whilst I've been looking at it, I've been thinking that there's something missing. But I'm not quite sure what. If only I'd kind of got a reputation for some sort of trademark. That could take up some space and add some detail quite nicely, couldn't it? I think I've got an idea. So obviously if you've watched pretty much any of my build videos so far, you'll realise I've somehow developed a bit of an obsession. It's not so much an obsession, it's more of a reputation for drilling holes. I don't choose to do it, just for the sake of it, usually. It just sort of happens as part of the design process and it works. But, um, yeah, there's comments on the majority of my videos now and comments on Instagram basically asking when I'm going to drill the next million holes. Christian Talbot decided that I needed a new t-shirt to advertise my obsession. Which is slightly amusing because it does look like a fragrance brand which um, I quite like. Absolutely love it Christian, thank you. Um, but yeah, so it's, it has inspired me a little bit and I'm kind of thinking that some holes around the edge of this might actually work. I know, I'm sorry. So I've cut some tiny little slivers of aluminium tube to place around the body and have a quick look to see what it'll look like. Because obviously if I drill a hole I can't fill it in again easily. So I'm going to lay these out and see what I can come up with. I think the main thing that I want to work with is my blocks around the outside edge here that support the body itself. So, yep, we've got a good chunk, which I'm going to shape the inside edge of. So I need to figure out where I can either put a hole and line it with some aluminium that goes solely through the side block, but I think that might be too close to the edge of the guitar, or I need to line it up nicely so that it runs along the inside edge of the side, the side blocks, and I can kind of smooth through and either have a nice clean piece of aluminium tube showing on the inside, or I can clean up to the edge of the actual block itself, and it will then create a kind of through hole into the actual internal chamber tunnel thing as well. But I think first things first is I'm going to lay these out and see if it looks right. It could look absolutely terrible, but won't know until we've tried it. So I'm going to have a go at that.
comments below. Uh, see if it uh, seems like a good idea.